I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And today we're gonna to be talking about what if your ex has blocked you? Oh. Yeah, it's a terrible feeling. It is. And chances are, if you're watching this video, somebody's blocked you. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you've been dating, somebody that you care about, is upset about something, or for whatever reason has blocked you. And so today we're gonna to talk about this because it often leaves us feeling really upset and confused and desperate, right? Yeah. Because you just have this overwhelming desire to connect with somebody and, you know, it kind of feels you like helpless. Yeah. It, you, it leaves you feeling yeah. helpless, like you can't do anything about it. And you're wondering, like, is, are they going to block me forever? Are they mm -hmm. going to unblock me? So we're going to talk about this today. Yeah, it can definitely feel like that person is trying to erase you from their life. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of you have seen Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, but it's an incredible movie with Jim Carrey. But the premise of the film is that there's a new program that can erase memories mm -hmm. of different people in the past. And that what, that's what it could feel like to be blocked by somebody, mm -hmm. to feel like they're trying to erase you from their memory, block any sort of contact with you. So this can be extremely hurtful and painful especially coming from somebody that you knew intimately and that you loved yeah yeah absolutely I haven't seen that movie but I'll watch it it's incredible um, now the other thing is that sometimes they will leave people in your life like friends or family mm -hmm. unblocked yeah and if they do that, you're going to constantly be badgering them. Mm -hmm. Will you please check to see if they did that? Have you? And you're going to be asking friends and family. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I hear mothers a lot. Don't get oh, blocked. Yeah. And so be, they'll be like, my mom is see, looking and my yeah. mom told me this. That happened to me. <laughs> and my mom was sending him cheesy <laughs> Italian like uh, thread messages to him. Uh -huh. oh, embarrassing. But yeah. <laughs> so you want to resist the urge to have you know, people spying for you. I know it's hard mm -hmm. and I know I'm asking you to do something very difficult, mm -hmm. but it's probably going to be worse for you to know what's going on right now. Right. And the thing that happens is that if you see something that's going on in the, in the moment, mm -hmm. we kind of overvalue it and yeah. think that it's going to be like that forever. Right. And so if they're dating somebody new, it makes us just feel worse that now they're going to be dating this person forever mm -hmm. instead of understanding that this is just a, likely a temporary situation and whoever they move on to will probably lead to a breakup because they're not ready to really be with somebody new. Exactly. So, Having uh, friends and family spy for you. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes we get desperate and it's like a really random person yeah. that you barely know. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I wonder if I should. Uh -huh. It'll probably get back to your yeah. ex and then it just makes things worse. So I would say resist the urge to do mm -hmm. that. Do your very best because we don't want to make the situation worse. Right. Now, the other thing is that when they block you, sometimes we will do things like... Um, really escalate mm -hmm. right you might start to make more effort mm -hmm. to get around the block if they blocked you on the phone you know on the text you try and mm -hmm. message them on whatsapp if they block you there you message them on facebook and, mm -hmm. and we just go worse and worse and worse till you wind up at their house yeah. and then next thing you know they're saying they're going to call the police mm -hmm. so you gotta calm down mm -hmm. okay because there's a good chance that at some point they're going to unblock you just you stay rest assured. Breathe. Yes, that it'll it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can understand why you would want to reach out and find another outlet to communicate with them because it is that primal instinct to want to connect with them again. Mm -hmm. But realize that it is a violation of their privacy by blocking you. They're asking for that space. Mm -hmm. 
And on your end, you might be so confused. Why would they block me? Why do they want to stop all contact? Mm -hmm. This doesn't make sense. Why, why would they not want me to even look up their name? Especially if they've kind of done it out of nowhere. Yeah. Like sometimes mm -hmm. I hear people say, I haven't talked to them in two months and all of a sudden they started blocking me yeah. or they blocked me. Like yeah. what happened? One thing that can happen is the person can be emotionally overwhelmed. So to see you pop up on their feed could just be the straw that breaks the camel's back. It mm -hmm. could be too much for them to handle, especially if they're also processing the grief and the loss as well. So consider that. And also consider that people with avoidant attachment styles might be particularly prone to this because they have this tendency to avoid emotions particularly negative emotions and being reminded of the breakup and reminded of your relationship could evoke that in them. Yes. I think that people that are avoidant tend mm -hmm. to suppress things mm -hmm. more. And so by seeing you, it makes them have all kinds of feelings that they just aren't ready to deal with or yeah. think about. Yeah. Another big reason I think people block you is because they feel guilty about what you might see. Mm -hmm. If they start t talking to somebody new, dating somebody new, they may feel bad about it and not want to hurt you and not want to rub it in your face and feel like if they're posting stuff like that, that it's going to kind of, you know, rub it in your face yeah. and make you feel worse about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did care about you and they don't want to hurt you. So that is definitely something to consider. Mm -hmm. Another reason is to keep you from getting jealous. It's along that same vein. Mm -hmm. But perhaps in the past, you may have reacted explosively to any sort of jealousy, whether it was real or imagined. So for them to be posting pictures of other people with them and having you see that or giving you access to that, they might be withholding that for their own safety or for their own concerns about how you might react. Yeah, if you've done anything to scare them, yeah. you know. I think one of the reasons, one of maybe the biggest reasons that someone will block you is because they are feeling harassed. Mm -hmm. You haven't respected their space. To some extent, it's understandable. I mean, you don't want to harass people, you know, and just continue to blow up their phones because it'll make things worse. Yeah. But, you know, you've got to realize that by contacting them, it just makes them want to set higher walls and stronger boundaries to push you out of their life, you know? Mm -hmm. So don't contact them for any reason. Yeah. If you know they blocked you, don't contact them. Mm -hmm. You're risking giving them more reasons to agree with the breakup and, and feel better about their decision. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, it will decrease them wanting to repair things with you in the future if you really escalate things to the point where they're like, I, I can't take this anymore. Right, and that's important to remember is that there could still be a future. So we don't wanna string you along and give you false hope, but there are times where people get blocked and they still get back together. So use this as reassurance and motivation to continue working on your own issues. Mm -hmm. So just because they blocked you, it doesn't mean that there's no chance of reuniting in the future. There is an unblock feature and it does happen. People get unblocked, blocked again, unblocked, blocked, blocked, unblocked. Yeah. It happens. And, and it's so weird sometimes because mm -hmm. you haven't even heard from this person in months. Mm -hmm. Then they'll block you mm -hmm. and you'll be like, what? They unblocked me. And then three days later, you're blocked again. And you're yeah. like, I don't understand. Why are mm -hmm. they doing this? Yeah. Well, it shows you they're thinking about you Yeah. because you don't unblock somebody for no reason. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking about you. So that's a good sign mm -hmm. because they had to unblock you. Right? right. So, you know, don't reach out. Don't create a fake account to spy right. on them. I know a lot of you do. Mm -hmm. In fact, I asked this on Instagram recently. Yeah. I did a poll uh -huh. about how many of you have secret burner accounts and 30% of the people that took it admitted to it. Wow. And I had a lot of people saying there's no way that number is that low. <laughs> I, I mean, 30% admitted to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's at least 50% mm. have created a fake account. And right? that's not including the friends and family they bugged to <laughs> exactly. get information from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you want to give them space mm -hmm. and realize that wherever, whatever they're experiencing or feeling right now, they mm -hmm. have a right to that decision. Right. And you can't just force your agenda. It's just going to mm -hmm. make them want to be around you less, you know? Yeah. You want to leave your door open. 
So their door can open and close and block and unblock, but you want to have this cool, calm, collected stance mm -hmm. that gives them the opportunity to reach out if they desire to. Yeah. So we're not saying this is going to be a, a SWAT team breaking down their door, trying to get them to answer, trying to get some type of response from them, mm -hmm. because that will just have them push back. So really think about that and, and think about how you want them to be willing and ready. And when that time comes, it will be far worth it than trying to bug them and force an answer from them. Yeah. And ultimately, we want people that want to be a part of our life. Exactly. And you can't force anybody to want to be in your life. Mm -hmm. You can't force anybody to uh, communicate with you. Mm -hmm. And if you try to, it usually makes the situation worse. Mm -hmm. And really, how likely are they going to be honest with you if you're coming at them in that way you know what i mean yeah. like if they're being forced to communicate with you why would they tell you the truth they might or they might just be so hurt and angry at the time mm -hmm. that they say something they don't really mean yeah so you know just understand that if somebody blocks you mm -hmm. it's probably temporary mm -hmm. at some point they'll probably unblock you unless of course that maybe the police have been involved and there's yeah. legal issues mm -hmm. going on there, then they may say, no, I'm not going to reach out because they've had to get the law enforcement involved, which mm -hmm. does happen. But you want somebody who wants to be in your life mm -hmm. and you can't force anybody to be in your life. You have enough value in who you are to respect yourself and love yourself enough to know that if that person doesn't want to be in your life, that there are going to be a lot of other people that do value you and do want you a part of their life. And those are the people that you want to appreciate. Exactly. So Well said. It's tough. I understand. But it happens. And it feels like it's permanent. Like they're never going to talk to you again. But I think most of the time there's some kind of commution communication even after a block yeah you have to remember that feelings change for mm -hmm. men women everybody feelings change it's part of being human yeah all right so hopefully you found this video helpful and of course when you want to get my help personally just go to my website askcraig.net sign up for the coaching option that works best for you i do email coaching and i do skype coach margaret of course is doing skype coaching and coach victoria is here continues to train with us i'll be here and you'll see her in videos and eventually she'll be doing coaching too. I look forward to it. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Victoria. And we will talk with you soon. To get my help personally, go to AskCraig.net and click on Schedule Coaching and choose the option that works best for you. I do email coaching or Skype. To schedule a coaching with Margaret, click on Margaret on the top of the page and order a Skype with her. For the Knowledge Creative Healing course, click on the link at the top of the page and click Get Started Now.